Good morning you guys welcome back to another vlog today's friday may 24th i was gonna say labor day weekend but no it's memorial day weekend <laughs> thank god if it was already labor day weekend wow today i am getting well i'm already pretty much ready for the day but i have to pack all my stuff for today because i'm gonna go to first i'm gonna go get my nails done because ew but then I'm going to go to Martina's and we're going to tan and just hang out. And then at 4 o'clock we're getting our hair done. And then after that I'm going to the city for another friend's birthday. So I need to bring all my stuff to get ready for the city and going out to her house. So I literally need to pack all my makeup. I need to pack my outfit, shoes. i got to pack everything. So on that note... I wanted to talk a little bit about Scentbird and I have talked about them before in older videos and even more recent videos. Remember I wanted to buy this for Jesse's birthday but it was too late. Scentbird is a perfume subscription service that's $15 a month and every month you get your choice of perfume and you get about 130 to 140 sprays which is way more than like a trial vial you would get at a store. I got these around Christmas and I still have two of them. So I use perfume pretty much four times a week, let's say, and I still have my perfume. And it's just a really convenient way to travel with perfume, keep it in your bag. I always keep one of these in my purse, but it's especially great for something like today where I'm getting ready at someone else's house. I don't want to bring a huge perfume, one, because I'd probably spill it all over my stuff, but two, I just don't need a huge perfume. So these little things are great. There's over 450 different scents to choose from on the website. Gucci, Prada, Tom Ford, and they're all authentic. You don't have to worry about them being like knockoffs. And they also have men's cologne as well. And they also actually just started selling beauty and health like skincare items. And they sent me this Noria hydrating jelly treatment. So it's basically just like a facial treatment that you put on at night and it's just a thick moisturizer. It kind of actually just looks like jello. And I put it on all over my face, neck, and chest because I was really sunburnt this week, of course. And it made my body like super moisturized. So they just started selling Paige just jumped at me. They just started selling stuff like this. And I really like this. So I'm gonna have all of these products linked below. And because and <laughs> Peach's tail. It's just me and Peach. Because I am working with Sempered on this video, they gave me a coupon code for you guys. So if you use the code LATTE30, you'll get 30% off your first order. So that means your perfume would only be $10. And how cute are these little travel vials? I mean, they're just, I love them. I love them. So the scents that I got were Bella by Vince Camuto, which this is a really pretty floral scent. This is like a really good summer one. It's just light and floral. I also got this vanilla blackberry perfume. I'll have it linked below because it's in French and I absolutely cannot say it. But this is like a musky vanilla scent. This is definitely more of a nighttime smell. And then the other one I got is... Historia's Day Parfums, uh, 1969. So it's, I think it's just called 1969. And this one is almost kind of like clean laundry. Like it kind of smells like floral, it kind of smells like vanilla, but it just kind of smells clean. So I think for today, I'm going to bring Bella by Vince Camuto because it's gonna be like 75 degrees and sunny today. I wanna to smell bright and fresh. Was that even the right one? No, I just sprayed the wrong one on me. Oh well. But if you guys wanna check out Sunbird, I'll have a link in the description where you can go check it out. I'll have all of these products that I just mentioned linked below, including the hydrating jelly treatment, which I really, really love, and all the perfumes. So if you wanna check it out, links below, and make sure you use the code LATTE30 if you want 30% off. So I'm going to pack the good thing is that I don't really wear a lot of makeup these days. If you asked me like three years ago to do something like this, I pack so much makeup. I used to wear like full coverage, 
like Estee Lauder Double Wear, Tarte Shape Tape, Bake My Face, Contour, Bronzer, Blush, Highlight, Full Eyeshadow, Eyeliner, Eyeshadow, did I say eyeshadow? Eyebrows, Mascara, False Eyelashes, like I did the whole nine yards every time basically I did anything. Now I don't do that, thank god, because that's way too much effort, but I am going to pack makeup, I don't know what I'm wearing, and I'm also going to go get my nails done in like a half an hour before the crowd shows up to get their nails done, Memorial Day weekend, and I'm going to go to Ulta because I want to get that, I want to get sunscreen, just regular spray sunscreen, and I also would like to look at foundations. I have a gift card to Ulta, I might as well just go buy my sunscreen for free, right? That's the plan for today. I think this is going to be a weekend vlog because I don't know what I'll even end up doing today. But for now, I'm just going to go make my bed, clean up. I have some things to do on the computer and then we'll get to packing all my crap. So I think this is what I'm going to wear tonight. Of course my H&M jeans. What else would I wear? I literally wear these four times a week. I just need to get another pair of them. And then this bodysuit that I got from TJ Maxx. If you watched my other vlog. These shoes which are from Lucky. I got them at uh, DSW. But they're Lucky brand. And they're so cute. They're really not that comfortable. But whatever. The craziest thing. I ordered stuff on Amazon last night. At 6 p.m. and it's here and it's 10 40 in the morning what in the world like how is that possible it's not everything i ordered but like what the hell i got this bathing suit which yay i'm so happy it came now i can wear it today but it's this leopard bandeau top and high-waisted bottoms it had really good reviews actually I'm not really sure how this goes. Looks like it might be a little tight, <laughs> but high waisted and it's actually really nice quality. And it was like $20 because I'm not someone who spends, you know, uh, upwards of $50 on a bathing suit. I won't do it. And then I got this little Cartier sort of dupe. You guys know I have this gold one that I wear, but the gold is kind of getting gross because I wear it in the shower. So I got one in silver just to kind of see if I like silver instead of gold. Um, it's a size seven, it's how cute. Um, you're probably not gonna be able to see it, but I'll have all of this stuff linked below. Let's put the gold on too. I kind of love it. All right, just got my nails done. They look so much better. My God. They have been such trash for like three weeks now. Probably even longer than that. I just got a gel OPI color. I'm gonna show you what I got. We'll start with H&M. I got a bathing suit. <laughs> I just thought this was so cute. It's just like the little ruffles. Blue and white's always pretty flattering on my skin tone even though it's just red right now. <laughs> I thought it was cute. It was 17 for the top, 17 for the bottom. This is the bottom. It's just like a string sort of bikini. We'll see if this like really fits, but I thought that was cute. 
I got some shorts. These are like good beach day shorts. I got another pair of shorts. These are more like nice going out shorts or like army green, a little bow. And my final pair of shorts are another beach day sort of lounging short. They're just loose, very flowy, and I thought the lemons were very cute and summery. And the last thing was this tank top. I actually bought this in pink like two weeks ago, and I really like it. It's just super plain. It's like a thick tank top, but it has like a knotted detail on the uh, shoulder. And then from Ulta, I finally got this Bare Minerals Tinted Moisturizer. A lot of you guys told me this was really good. So I got this one per your recommendation. I got shade three and it's just, it seems like it's gonna be really, really light coverage, which is what I want. And then I got this Neutrogena sunscreen. I saw on one of Tati's videos where she had that celebrity makeup artist do her makeup. He used this and I just really needed sunscreen and this was on sale. <laughs> and then I got this Maui Bay browning lotion. I've heard a lot of things about this. It's just, it's not like a oil tanner thing. Moisturizing, prevents burning, promotes a deep dark tan, water resistant, can be used with sunscreen, and it's not a stain or self tanner. So I don't really honestly know what it is, but I've just heard good things about it. But it looks, it is brown, so we'll see. But now I'm gonna try on all these bathing suits and probably change because the stress is not very good with my sunburn and I'll update you after I try all my stuff on. So here's my smoothie, it's nice and green. There's a banana, some peaches, strawberries, spinach, and vanilla protein. to the grocery store because I'm making a pasta salad for the barbecue I'm going to this evening at Martina's house. So I volunteered to make pasta salad so I have to now deliver that and make it. So last night, so we get to the train station around 8.15. The train was at 8.30 which was already way later than I wanted to go. But then there was an hour delay for the train. So 9 o'clock came and there was no update about like whether or not the train would even be there at like 8.30, I mean 9.30. So me and Jess were just like, we, we can't because the train ride would have been an hour because it stopped at basically every station into the city. And then we would be going to Magic Hour, so that would be like, I don't know, I think it's like a 10-15 minute draw, uh, walk from Grand Central. So we wouldn't have gotten to the place until like at least like 10.45. And Jesse had to work this morning, so we didn't go. I feel so bad, but we just, we couldn't get on a train and not get to the city until basically 11 o'clock and have to take like a one o'clock train home. You know, we just, I, I could not do that. And I was so hungry, you guys. I was starving. I would have died.
Martinez. Jesse's gonna meet me there because he's still working, but I'm wearing the tank top I got in my, um, when I went to TJ Maxx, my other vlog. My H&M jeans, of course. I mean, obviously I wear them every day. I'm H&M sandals, so. Not much different than my usual attire, but I just realized my bronzer is not blended. And it looks like I have a beard. But there we go. I'm like really bloated today. So this shirt really helps. Because I was going to wear a bodysuit, but that was not a good outfit at all. <laughs> Hey guys, so this vlog is taking a turn. Initially, I was just gonna vlog this whole weekend, but I didn't do that. So the last clips you probably saw were me making a pasta salad on Saturday afternoon or Saturday morning. And then I went to a barbecue that evening and I didn't bring my camera. Then Sunday, I didn't do anything in the morning. And then I went to a different barbecue that evening, but both of which were not my family's so I definitely was not comfortable vlogging because it was not my family. Not everyone wants to put on the internet. Today I'm spending the day getting my life back together. I actually you know I thought I would be like so like hungover or something this weekend. I really wasn't but I haven't really been drinking a lot of water. I've been eating like crap so I'm just trying to get my life back together. I'm just spending today trying to be a normal functioning member of society and not just laying on the deck or drinking or whatever today. I will say I ordered these flyby hangover pills on Amazon and because I heard SML talk about them, SML XO, she went to like Nashville and she took these and I think they work. I really think they work. So you take three before you start drinking. They're just like supplements. They're not pills or anything like vitamins almost. You take three before you drink and then three after. And I really think they worked because on Saturday I took the three before, three after, and I felt actually fine on Sunday, which is surprising because usually even if I just have like two drinks, I'm hungover. It doesn't matter. Like once I have two drinks, I'm done. I'm hungover the next day. So Jesse just went to work. He has a few service calls to go on, but I think I want to go to... Target. Oh, maybe Target's not open today, actually. Interesting. I have to look that up. But I want to get work clothes, like tank tops and shirts to wear under little jackets, like blazers and cardigans, because I'm really not sure what the dress code is for this office. If it's like business casual, business professional, casual, like I don't know what it's going to be like. I'm just going to order some stuff on J. Crew Factory because that's my favorite place for work clothes. That's it. I just wanted to start this vlog and give it some purpose and direction since the other clips have kind of been like not purposeful. <laughs> these are the items that I'm going to order from J. Crew Factory. I got two little cardigans because these are great if you don't want to wear a blazer. This little wrap top, it's final sale, so I'm hoping it fits. I got my favorite ruby pants in this really nice light blue color. These printed leopard pants, maybe they're not necessarily for work, but we'll have to see. And then I got some nice uh, tank tops that I can wear with those cardigans. Jesse just got home from work. 
and got me this sandwich. I'm covering his shirt with the sandwich. I got her a turkey for Memorial Day. A Turk. This is our turkey. Kind of looks like a turkey. So should I just eat here? Sure. So we're going to go to Target. I have like very strange hair going on right now, but I'm wearing pretty much new clothes. The top is from TJ Maxx. These are the shorts I got at H&M earlier in the vlog. They're a little wrinkly, but I don't really care. <laughs> and then my H&M sandals because I only have like two pairs of sandals right now. <laughs> so that's one of the things I'm going to Target for. Just admiring my awful hair. But yeah, this is the outfit. I have all these new tone it up, uh, like protein things. I'm like this kind of looks gross, but they have a lot of new flavors. This is what I've gotten so far. Hand wash. Got this razor. It's only ten dollars, which I'm surprised about because it's like one of those new nice ones. Vitamins and a new loofah. That's Jesse's stuff. <laughs> oh, this is this is mine. These are kind of expensive. They're eight dollars, and you only get four. So I'm going to see like what's in the food aisle, but I'm contemplating getting that. that and some body wash. What's good fellow? It's just a brand. I don't know. They have a lot of new like men's stuff at Target. Also, Target's really stepping it up. I got Starbucks. I got a refresher because it doesn't have as much caffeine, so I probably won't be up until four in the morning, but you never know. That refresher is totally A reusable bag came in handy, even though it's like 45 pounds. Yeah, I mean, if you lifted it up, it might just rip. No, it's not. Well, Don't say that about the bag. It might, but. <laughs> she needs to be supported. Oh my God. From the bottom, yeah. <laughs> My camera's flashing, so it means it's gonna die in the near future, but we're just gonna go home now, unpack all this stuff. I didn't, I didn't get anything that I came here for. The shoe section was destroyed. Those sandals were buy one, get one free, but they didn't have my size in anything. It's so hot. So, yeah, now we're gonna go. My phone or my camera's gonna die, and the air conditioning is really loud. Blasting off. See you later. Okay guys, it's now 5.30. I'm just sitting outside editing. Uh, when we got home from Target, the electricity went out for a while. So obviously couldn't charge the cam because we had no electricity for no real reason, but it's back now so I could charge my camera. I'm just sitting out here basically blind because the sun is completely in my eyes. I don't really have any other further plans for this evening. So I just wanted to quickly update you and I'll, um, I'll sign off later, but for now, I'm just gonna sit out here and go blind. I'm gonna do my skincare, ending the vlog, and answer a question. I think that's just gonna be my summer vlog sort of thing. So the question I'm going to answer is pros and cons of living with your parents while in school. I thought this was a good one. So there's so many upsides to this and I guess it really depends on your living situation with your parents, your relationship with your parents, but I have a very good relationship with my parents. I don't know, I have nothing negative to say about the relationship with my parents and also since we kind of have like an apartment down here, I think it's a lot different than if I just had like a bedroom upstairs I would feel like I had less of my own space so I think that also makes a difference but the pros are that I save so much money I guess it depends on where you live but rent around me for where I live is upwards of for a studio upwards of 1800 no probably upwards of like two thousand dollars a month 
for like a one bedroom. You know, it makes it easier to see my family. If I didn't live here, I would never see them because during school, after class, like I come home and go to bed, I barely even see them as it is living here. So I can't even imagine what it would be like if I didn't live here. I literally would never see anyone. And another pro to it is, I don't know, like being, my parents want to help me. So, you know, when I'm low on time, my dad will make my lunch for me in the morning. If I haven't had time to meal prep and he knows that I don't have any food to eat, like he'll make me lunch so I can have something to eat during the day. You know, there's dinner. You guys know I make my dinner like 90% of the time anyways, but there's dinner. Like there's just so many pros to it because I guess I just have a really good relationship with my parents. So it's really hard to say like what it would be like for anyone else. But for me, I really like it. And I don't have any, I don't have any cons to say. I suppose the only con would be like not living alone. You know, not being able to have my fully owned space. Because that obviously would be nice. You know, having my own kitchen and my own, like fully my own place. But pretty much down here, like this is my own space. I fully decorated it. I pay for everything down here. I mean, it's just the only thing I don't have is my own kitchen, but you guys know I don't really cook, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I guess that would be the only negative, but obviously that just comes with the territory of living with your parents. It's not fully your own space. And a lot of the questions were when do me and Jesse plan on moving out? And that's honestly something we haven't really, really, really talked about because my plan was to live with my parents until I finished law school. So I would assume we would move out probably next year after the bar exam because there's no way I can move while studying for the bar. It would be impossible. So I think my plan would to be to move out after taking the bar exam. And at that point, I'll have a full income Assuming, you know, obviously I'll have a job next summer for after the bar. I'll have my own income. Um, I won't just be relying on money from YouTube. I'll have like a full salary. Jesse obviously has his own business. So yeah, prob I'm just drying my <laughs> moisturizer, but probably after the bar exam. That's the question I'm going to answer for today. I'll have all the stuff I just use linked down below. It's always linked down below my skincare. I'll have everything that I mentioned in this vlog linked down below. I know there was a lot. If you made it to the end of this video, please comment below because you're a real good person because I think this vlog is going to be like 30 minutes long. Make sure you guys check out Scentbird if you're interested. I'll have a link below and that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't and that's it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.